Our lead focus, while rain is bringing relief from the scorching heat in northern India, it's also impacting lakhs of people across states with landslides and flash floods. The Chandigarh-Manali Highway was blocked due to landslides today, leading to traffic jams spreading to as long as 15 kilometers. There were even landslides in Himachal Pradesh's Mandi and not just in the hills. Heavy rainfall also impacted the plains with water logging leading to jams in Maharashtra's Bhivandi. The impact is clear across states as the Met Department says that monsoon has already covered 80% of India. The latest satellite images released by the Met Department showed dense clouds over most parts of the country as the monsoon has now covered almost 80% of the country. A big relief to people reeling under the above normal temperatures and high humidity of the past few days. Met scientists say the direction and speed of the monsoon is different this year. As a result, it reached Mumbai 14 days late and Delhi two days ahead of schedule. Abhi filhal monsoon kya hum mane ki asti fizdi mein pahunch chuka hai? Ji, bilkul. Agar aap idhar je wala pictures dekhenge, je aaj ka conditions hai, to monsoon kafi hisse mein cover kar chuka hai. Gujarat ka hisse bacha hua kuch. राजस्थान का मेनली वेस्ट राजस्थान साउथ पंजाब और साउथ हरियाणा बचा हुआ है और काफी हिस्सों में ये कवर हो चुका है अकॉर्डिंग टू सीनियर साइंटिस्ट इन द मेट डिपार्टमेंट डॉक्टर नरेश कुमार द न्यू पैटर्न दिस ईयर कंफर्म्स द एनुअल वेरिएबिलिटी हिज डिपार्टमेंट हैज बीन रिकॉर्डिंग इन रीसेंट इयर्स हाउएवर ही सेज द चेंजिंग पैटर्न कैन नॉट बी एट्रिब्यूटेड टू क्लाइमेट चेंज डायरेक्टली येट सिंस दैट विल रिक्वायर डिटेल्ड एनालिसिस ऑफ द रेनफॉल डेटा ऑफ द पास्ट 30 टू 40 इयर्स Monsoon reached the Kerala coast around 7 days behind schedule this year and initially the spread of the monsoon was very slow but now because of a low pressure area in Bay of Bengal near Odisha coast the speed and the spread of the monsoon is now increasing to different parts of the country the latest met department map clearly shows that the areas in grey are those regions of the country where monsoon has already reached as of 26 June whereas areas in white especially in gujarat rajasthan and parts of south punjab and south haryana are those regions where monsoon is yet to reach it's a matter of relief though that the met department has not made any forecast for heavy rain in assam in the coming days which is facing a flood crisis for last several days this will bring down water levels in the state northeast india mein bahut agar aap pichle 5 7 dino ki baat kare मानसून का काफी एक्टिव था वहाँ इवन हैवी वेरी हैवी इवन एक्सट्रीमली हैवी वी सेंटीमीटर तक रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी होती रही है अब थोड़ा वहाँ रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी इतनी ज़्यादा नहीं है वहाँ अभी वही है कि 6.5 सेंटीमीटर मीन हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी का ही अनुमान है दिस सिचुएशन ऑफ वेयर द वाटर लेवल्स वेयर वेरी लो इन द रिजर्वर्स टू दिस पास सिचुएशन वन मंथ लेटर श्योरली इज ए साइन ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज ऑल आइज आर नाउ ऑन द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून How soon the monsoon covers Gujarat, Rajasthan and parts of South Punjab and Haryana in the coming days will be significant. Mm. With Saurabh Gupta in Kolkata and camera person Kanan Patra in Delhi, Himanshu Shekhar for NDTV. And as people from the plains went to the hills for some relief from the heat, over 200 tourists were left stranded in Himachal Pradesh's Mandi earlier today as the Mandi Kullu National Highway was closed, blocked due to a flood after a cloudburst. The road was reopened after seven hours of restoration work, but here's what the tourists said when they were stranded earlier today. रात भर यहीं थे और सुबह जाके जब हमने आगे देखा सात मिनट के बाद तो वहाँ बड़े बड़े पत्थर आए हुए हैं और प्रशासन की तरफ से अभी भी कोई भी जेसी भी नहीं लगी हुई है हमें जो रीज़न दिया गया कहते स्लाइड लैंडस्लाइड हुई है रात को 12 बजे तो 12 से अब आप लगा लीजिए 10 ग्यारह तो अभी बच चुके हैं लगभग दस घंटे हो चुके हैं प्रशासन की तरफ से गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से उनको भी सोचना चाहिए कि सीजन है तो बहुत जल्दी इनको रिमूव करवा देना चाहिए जो भी यहाँ प्रॉब्लम हुई है कोई अपडेट नहीं सर इनकी तरफ से कुछ भी नहीं है बस कह रहे हैं कि कोई कह नहीं सकते आधा घंटा लगे एक दिन लगे दो दिन लगे कुछ मतलब एग्जैक्ट तो ये बता ही नहीं रहे रात में हमने होटल ले लिया था मॉर्निंग में थोड़ा सा पता लगा की ओपन हो गया तो हम लोग निकल गए थे बट वो आके फिर जाम में ही फंसे हुए 
अभी कोई अपडेट नहीं है मतलब कितना लंबा ट्रैफिक है वो कुछ अपडेट नहीं है अभी तो मतलब लाइक चार घंटे से ऑलमोस्ट यहीं पे रुके हुए हैं यही तो सेम अपडेट है I think there's a land slide up ahead, but um, we haven't heard much information. We've been here since like five in the morning. We're just wandering around. We thought the traffic was moving, uh, but it looks like it hasn't moved. <laughs> Imagine a large part of your vacation being spent on the road in traffic jams. But as I mentioned, that the impact is not just visible in the hills, but in the plains as well. In Uttar Pradesh, a part of a bridge connecting two towns over the Ganga River collapsed due to the strong flow of water caused by heavy rainfall in Hastinapur. The bridge collapse has brought the traffic in several nearby villages to a standstill. Interestingly, the same road had collapsed the same way last year as well, and there was a probe into the collapse as well. But clearly, there has been no change. And as we have seen, the heavy rainfall yet again exposed the fragile condition of the civic infrastructure in our mega cities, such as Mumbai, with water logging and clogged drains seen in several parts, despite the tall promises that have been made by the local bodies on monsoon preparedness. The Uddhav Sena protested against the local body BMC in Mumbai, while the chief minister said that we should all welcome the monsoon and not just talk about water logging. With the onset of the monsoon in Mumbai over the weekend and the subsequent waterlogging, questions are now being raised on civic body BMC's claims on monsoon preparedness. On Monday, Shiv Sena's Uddhav faction protested against the BMC administration in Mumbai. The BMC's administration is being taken care of by uh, the BMC commissioner as well as the state government. Now the people are upset and angry that there's no water, there's no one that they can speak to. And when there is a uh, monsoon, there is water logging that happens over there. And there are several such issues. And these are the issues of the city that is being raised ahead of the elections where there is going to be a huge challenge in front of the Shiv Sena UBT. Shiv Sena's term in BMC ended 15 months ago. Since then, work in the BMC is being handled by the BMC commissioner under the supervision of the present Maharashtra government. Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde visited the areas affected by the rain on Saturday. Asked about water logging in Mumbai, the Chief Minister responded saying one should welcome the monsoon. The opposition hit out at this statement. <laughs> सोने की अंडे देने वाले चिड़िया समझते हैं मुर्गी समझते हैं ऐसे लोग जब सरकार में बैठते हैं जो मिंदे भाजपा की सरकार है वैसी सरकार से जो भी कल हुआ वो आपको पता चला लेकिन जब मुंबई कर आम नागरिक मुंबई की सड़कों पे अगर आप देखें तो फंसा हुआ था कहीं बरसात में फ्लड्स के दौरान हो या कई खराब रास्तों के कारण हो वहीं पर जो घटना भाई मुख्यमंत्री है वो ये कहते हैं कि पाउस आला पर तेजा स्वागत करा तकरार का करता यानी बारिश का वेलकम कीजिए बारिश का स्वागत कीजिए अब कंप्लेन क्या करें इतनी एरोगेंस ये हमने कभी देखी नहीं थी बेशर्मी की हद होती है करप्शन की भी हद होती है बिफोर द अराइवल ऑफ द मॉनसून बीएमसी क्लेम्ड इट वाज प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर द मॉनसून बट अ रियलिटी चेक बाय एनडीटीवी रिवील्स दैट इन इंदिरा नगर लोकेटेड इन द वडाला एरिया ऑफ मुंबई द क्लीनिंग ऑफ ड्रेन्स इज येट टू बी कंप्लीटेड BMC has allocated 226 crore rupees for cleaning drains this year. 309 major drains and 508 minor drains in the city were to be cleaned. BMC claims pre-monsoon drain cleaning work has been completed. The BMC has set a target of removing 2.53 lakh metric tons of garbage. BMC claims 2.87 lakh metric tons of garbage has been removed more than the targeted amount. The opposition says BMC's claims are false and that the Mumbaikers will have to face many problems during the monsoon this year. This is not a safe place. Who can give the money to anyone in the jail? It's a work of some kind of work. It's a work of some kind of work. While the BMC made tall claims before the monsoon, the ground reality shows that the preparations for the monsoon is incomplete. The BMC is the richest municipal corporation in the country, but despite that, only during the first monsoon showers, we saw what the ground reality of the city is, due to which now questions are being raised on the planning as well as the preparations of the BMC ahead of the monsoon. In Mumbai, with camera person Praveen Jirohit, Sohit Mashra, NDTV. 
Moving on, in his fifth visit to pole-bound Madhya Pradesh in 10 months, Prime Minister Narendra Modi tomorrow will inaugurate five Vande Bharat Express trains at the Kamlapati railway station and he will also hold a roadshow from the Raj Bhavan to the old police control room in Bhopal. He will then proceed to the village Shadol where he will interact with the tribals. And as is the case before several mega visits by the Prime Minister, the Shadol village too has got a facelift right before for the Prime Minister's visit. The Prime Minister's visit has brought basic necessities that the villagers have been waiting for for years. Take a look. At the Pakadia village in Shadol district of Madhya Pradesh, Sumitra Baigas is one of the few tribal households to receive piped drinking water directly into her home under the Jal Jeevan mission. Sumitra and her daughter will not have to make several trips to this hand pump anymore to fetch pots of water to meet the family's drinking water needs. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Pakadia has ensured a facelift for this tribal village. Taps have started being installed in houses by rapidly laying pipes. A new transformer means uninterrupted power supply to the village and rations have been distributed to every beneficiary in the village. And a chopal in the village, set up by top officials, means almost every problem of the village has been solved. Light ho gaya, nal ho gaya, aur latrine bathroom ban gaya. Khamba bhi gar gaya. Ye gharan gharan na le bolte hain road banta. Abhi to bore hua hai talab ke paas. Yahan se starting hua hai nal lagne ka. To fir yahan mahalle mein lagega hamare yahan jaldi tola mein. Abhi yahan se start hua hai. Of the 2,775 families living in Pakadia, 1,462 are tribal households. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will interact with the people here under this mango tree after addressing a public meeting in Shadol. Pradhan Mantri ji aate hain, to prerana bhi dete hain, aur ane ko sogaate bhi dete hain. Is baar wo aare hain, Bhopal mein do bande Bharat train ki sogaat de rahe hain. और माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी भी दो बड़े मिशन दो बड़े अभियान लॉन्च कर रहे हैं एक तो है सिकिल सेल एनीमिया मिशन तो प्रधानमंत्री जी एक करोड़ आयुष्मान कार्ड के वितरण की शुरुआत शहडोल की पवित्र धरती से करेंगे एंड ऑन द मेन्यू फॉर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ट्रेडिशनल ट्राइबल क्विजीन इंक्लूडिंग कोरो कुटकी एंड महुआ का मालपुआ प्रिपेयर बाई सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप फ्रॉम द विलेज पकरिया गांव में पूरी तरह से ग्रामीण परिवेश में उनका स्वागत करने के लिए तैयारी की गई है गांव वालों में भी बहुत ज्यादा उत्साह है प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी वोट बी एबल टू मेक इट टू पकरिया इन शहडोल बिकॉज ऑफ हेवी रेन्स बट नेवर दस दिलेज गॉट अ फेस लिफ्ट एंड मच नीडेड फेसिलिटीज फॉर द पुअर ट्राइबल पीपल इन भोपाल विद कैमरा पर्सन रिजवान खान एंड विनय अनुराग द्वारी फॉर एनडी टीवी and staying with political news from poll bound states a big blow for telangana chief minister k chandrashekhar rao's brs party ahead of the elections 35 of the party's key leaders are set to join the congress party in the month of july these leaders include former brs leader and ex mp pongaleti srinivas reddy and state's former minister jupalli krishna rao as well these leaders met the congress president malikarjun kharge and senior congress leader rahul gandhi in the national capital today and they are set to join the Congress party ahead of the elections. And that's not it. Sources in the Congress party have said that more leaders from the ruling BRS in Telangana and some from the BJP will also join the Congress party at the event that will be held in the first week of July. And as former U.S. President Barack Obama's comments on minority rights in India triggered an attack by several BJP ministers, now the former commissioner of the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom has too reacted to the comments. While Obama had said that India might pull apart if the rights of minorities in India are not protected, the former head of the U.S. Religious Freedom Panel reacting to this has said that Obama should spend his energy on complimenting India more than criticizing the country. Listen in. I think the, the, former, the former president should spend, uh, spend his energy uh, complimenting India uh, more, than, more than criticizing uh, India. India is the most diverse country in human history. It's not a perfect country. 
just like the United States is not a perfect country, uh, but its diversity is its strength. Uh, President Obama couldn't help but also compliment Prime, Prime Minister Modi, and I, I certainly understand why, having, having spent some time with him. Now let's focus on a blue-eyed boy of India's startup sector that now is in deep trouble. EdTech giant Baiju's, which has been troubled by mass layoffs, mounting losses, valuation cuts and several other issues, now has a future plan. The CEO of the company, which was once the most valued startup in India, has acknowledged in front of stakeholders that the company made mistakes. And as the company has not released its annual financial statement since financial year 2021, the CEO CFO Ajay Goyal has promised stakeholders that the financial audits for the year 2022 and 2023 will be completed by the end of this year. My colleague Srija joining us for more details on this. So Srija, a promise on financial statements along with that an acceptance of mistakes. Tell us what else was discussed in that meeting. Well, it all began with Baiju's reporting a loss of a little over 2,500 crore rupees. This is for the financial year of 2019 and 2020. And thereafter, we went on to report there was retrenchment, which was reported uh, within Baiju's. And we went on to see how Baiju's, the EdTech giant, also issued a statement saying that this was only restructuring of the company. So uh, we could only see that, uh, you know, months after how this particular company just began to collapse one after the other, because right after... After that, we went on to see where several of uh, the Labour ministers, whether that's right here in Karnataka or even for that matter, Kerala had to intervene clearly. Several of the, uh, you know, employees were also protesting in, in the meanwhile. And we went on to also understand where eventually Baiju's had to file a lawsuit against one of its uh, lenders, we understand, uh, which is against the loan term B. And in additionally, the Baiju's also had to pay up nearly $40 million, which is uh, just as an interest as far as the payment is concerned. So all this has come under the scrutiny of the government as well. Even we went on to see the Labour, that is the Union Labour Minister also took note of this. Uh, and also more importantly, what's really happened in the latest episode is that Baiju Ravindran, for the first time we understand, had introduced uh, Mr. Ajay Goel, the uh, new CFO of the company, to uh, the shareholders because clearly he was responsible at a point. It has reached a tipping point where we went on to see nearly three of its uh, uh, you know board members had resigned now the the red flag all you know all the way came in the form of where deloitte in fact uh, was the first uh, the auditor the biggest auditor global auditor had to resign from its board and right after that were three other board members so now what we understand from the byjuice is that it's given an assurance to its shareholders that by september just like you pointed out that uh, they will be uh, auditing the financial for 2022 uh, mm. and also for this year around December 23 they will be auditing for 2023 as well. Right. All right, Srija, thanks very much for joining us with those details.